Welcome back, my friends. Today, we hear the news that Starwood Real Estate Income Trust just changed its CEO. Starwood Real Estate Trust, SREIT, is a real estate investment trust, right, that primarily invests in high-quality, income-producing commercial real estate properties in the United States and Europe. SREIT was formed in 2009 and is managed by Starwood Property Trust, Inc., a leading diversified finance company with a focus on the real estate industry. SREIT's investment strategy is to target properties with stable cash flows, long-term leases, and strong tenant credit profiles. The company's portfolio includes a diverse mix of property types, such as office buildings, hotels, retail centers, and multifamily properties. SREIT also invests in first mortgages, mezzanine loans, and other debt investments secured by commercial real estate. As a right, SREIT is required to distribute at least 90% of its taxable income to shareholders in the form of dividends, which can make it an attractive investment option for income-oriented investors. The company's shares trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol STWD. What does it mean for real estate investment trusts? What does this mean for the real estate industry? What does this mean for the future of the economy? And, what does it mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into that, please press the like button and leave us a comment below. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos. And, before we continue, a word from the sponsor of this video. Today's sponsor is InnerLife.com, creator of the InnerLife STS system. InnerLife STS is a cloud mobile platform for mental health care and its integration with primary medical care. InnerLife STS is designed for assessment, data collection and analytics, documentation, and progress tracking. InnerLife STS creates and composes conceptualized narratives and builds them into professional-grade reports. These reports are designed for use by mental health professionals, primary care physicians, justice system professionals and universities and include mental health assessment reports, mental health treatment reports, and treatment progress reports. And InnerLife STS uses doctor-selected pseudonames for all patients. So, only the healthcare professional knows the patient identity. Starwood as a real estate investment funds is what is known as a right. What is a right? For those of you not familiar, a right is an investment fund that invests in real estate. Right is an acronym for Real Estate Investment Trust. It could be structured as a mutual fund, almost like a stock mutual fund. Or, it could be set up as an exchange traded fund, or ETF. If it is an ETF, then shares in the fund are traded whenever the stock market is open. That means that any investor could sell out whenever the stock market is open. Starwood Real Estate Income Trust, the second largest non traded right in the country, has swapped CEOs amid a turbulent time for the real estate market and an upswing in investors looking to pull their funds. John McCarthy, who served as SREIT's CEO since its launch in 2017, was replaced by Sean Harris, who had been its president since 2021, according to a Securities and Exchange Commission filing first reported by CoStar. Starwood Real Estate Trust is limiting investor redemptions after the repurchase requests exceeded a 2% limit, reaching 3.2% of net asset value. NAV, in November 2022. The company fulfilled 63% of investor redemption requests in November. The company has a quarterly limit on redemptions of 5% NAV. The ability to redeem shares on a monthly basis is one reason investors are attracted to so-called NAV rights such as those managed by Blackstone and Starwood. The weakening commercial property market is another reason why private rights including Starwoods and Blackstone Real Estate Income Trust are contending with high numbers of requests to redeem their shares. Big institutional real estate investors are starting to get some heat from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. The SEC is reaching out to Blackstone and Starwood, two of the largest institutional real estate investors. Both Blackstone and Starwood have now limited investors' withdrawals from their funds. In fact, Investors are pulling their money out of these big real estate funds at a fast pace. The SEC is now asking for details about these decisions. If you have been following this channel, you already know that the US housing market is in sharp decline. As you might expect in a time of popping asset bubbles, house flippers are getting burned. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell has finally admitted what all of us have known for a long time. Specifically, US home prices are in the midst of a major correction or even a collapse. Institutional home buyers bought houses over the past few years as if they were going out of style. 
That included iBuyers like Zillow, Redfin, Opendoor, and Offerpad. It also included small-time investors and home flippers. But now, the tide has turned, mostly due to quickly rising interest rates. General sentiment about house prices has been thrown into reverse. And all of these buyers who rushed in are now exiting just as fast. The US housing market is seeming like a speculative bubble once again. And house prices in the United States are in decline. And there are probably a number of investors in the right that think real estate prices will further deteriorate. So, what does this mean for Blackstone? Investors in the fund are furious. That is because many of them are now trying to get their money out of the right. Real estate values have fallen across the nation. And macroeconomic factors are weakening overall. So, many investors have current needs for cash and need to liquefy some of their assets. Blackstone and Starwood Capital Group are drawing attention from the Securities and Exchange Commission. The focus is their recent moves to limit the ability of individual investors to take their money out of the company's real estate investment trusts, according to reports that are surfacing. The real estate funds have recently seen a surge in withdrawal requests. Amid a broad drop in investor sentiment and potential economic downturn. This led both private equity giants to pause redemptions. After monthly and quarterly withdrawal limits were reached. Investors in and outside of the funds took notice. As has, apparently, the SEC. The regulatory agency reached out to both Blackstone and Starwood. This month to assess the market impact and specific circumstances of the pauses, according to Bloomberg, which cited multiple anonymous sources. The agency was looking into how the firms served redemptions to their clients. And if any affiliates of the two companies sold their shares before the clients, according to one of the sources. The inquiries are not indications that either firm is under investigation or committed any wrongdoing, the report said. Representatives for Blackstone and the SEC declined to comment to Insider. A spokesperson for Starwood did not return requests for comment on Friday. Individual investors deal a blow to Blackstone's stock. Blackstone launched the Blackstone Real Estate Income Trust in 2017. Blackstone's fund is called BREIT, which stands for Blackstone Real Estate Investment Trust. The fund is designed to cater to rich individuals. And these rich investors are always looking for better investments. High net worth investors were looking for better returns in what was then a near zero interest rate world. Assets flowed into the fund and it was a success, at least for a few years. The Blackstone Wright amassed $68 billion in assets. Then, in 2021, Blackstone launched a fund called BCRED, which stands for Blackstone Private Credit Fund. The BCRED fund was designed to replicate the BREIT fund for private credit investors. But what a difference a year makes. The real estate market in the United States has reversed course. And investor sentiment is turning bearish, to say the least. Shares in Blackstone shares are down 21% in the past month. That compares to a 3% decline in the benchmark S&P 500 index. But most rights invest in commercial real estate. Blackstone has taken heat over the past week for limiting withdrawals from the $69 billion private right. President and Chief Operating Officer John Gray defended the positioning and structure. Gray noted that investors knew Breed had limits on redemptions. And, as I am sure you know by now in this video, Breed is not structured as an exchange-traded fund. So, investors in the fund cannot just sell their shares any time the stock market is open. Instead, they need to contact Blackstone and request a redemption of all or a portion of their shares. Even if a fund is not tradable on the stock market, it is normally still divided into shares. And real estate is not a highly liquid investment. So, the fund needs to make some sort of judgment as to how much cash it should make available for redemptions. And, in this case, investors in the fund want to take out more money than Blackstone can make. As you might imagine in a degrading real estate market, publicly traded rights have gotten slammed this year. If you follow this channel, you already know that the Federal Reserve is aggressively raising interest rates. And the rising interest rate environment is sending real estate values into decline. The real estate market has been hit hard, especially commercial real estate. Practically everyone is raising questions about the actual values of real estate. That is especially true of the real estate holdings in private funds such as Blackstone's Breed. Just as a comparison, the $35 billion Vanguard real estate ETF has plummeted 26% year-to-date. Well, despite that so-called confidence, investors in the fund sent double the normal amount of redemption requests in November. 
New subscriptions in the fund experienced a major drop-off. Subscriptions fell to less than half a billion dollars. That compares to $880 million in September. If you follow this channel, you already know that real estate prices are falling across the United States. Institutional investors snapped up properties during a stimulus-fueled frenzy. But now, rising interest rates have shifted the sands. And they are now unloading their properties in a hurry. For these investors, profit margins have crashed. But, what do you think? Please press the like button and leave us a comment below. Please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.